Welcome back. Thank you for watching my video once again. My name is Nisata Asweniken. In this video tutorial, we are still on dielectric material. Today's topic is dielectric loss. Dielectric loss. Last week, we discussed on dielectric strength. Now, this week, we are on dielectric loss. And this video we will make it i will make it briefly it, it will not be as long as other dielectric uh, material and i believe and i, I also believe that this uh, this uh, video this particular dielectric loss i think it should be the last of the dielectric material aspects uh, aspect of it which we are which we are discussing right right away in capacitor so in that case, before I proceed, I would like to say thank you for the for your subscribe for the subscription, for your comments, and uh, for your like as well, and for your sharing as well. Thank you once again. But for those that have that have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share. Okay, let's um, proceed. The term dielectric loss refers to the energy that is lost to heating of an object. I repeat, the term electric loss refers to the energy that is lost to heating of an object. What I mean by this plate is during, during the material, on the procedure or, or on the process, there must be losses on the material. But all losses is different based on the individual materials. The losses of, um, of non-polarized capacitor might or could not be the same on polarized capacitor. The losses on pure AC capacitor might not also be the same. They have different names, as their name indicates, and so their losses as well is different. So in that case, this is the first explanation or definition of dielectric loss. It has one and two. That is why you are seeing all here. So dielectric loss refers to the energy that is lost to heat of an object energy that is lost during the heating of an electric uh, of a dielectric material so in that case this is the second definition any of them that you understand you take it so in that case the dielectric loss is the loss occurring in the linkage resistance of the dielectric of the linkage resistance of the dielectric the same thing of what i just explained that loss is during the process of the temperature the heat and every other thing there must be losses in that case it means that the losses let's say let's say assume that a non-polarized capacitor you know we have mica we have uh, ceramic we have so many of them so in that case it does not mean that the losses of mica will be the same thing of the losses of uh, ceramic under temperature and another thing that you should also put in in consideration is based on the temperature the temperature that each of them can withstand because the temperature of mica might be or could be different from temperature of ceramic that can withstand all depending on the temperature as well as the losses because as their name differ so the same thing their temperature losses and everything are different so in that case that is made of dielectric material if a variable voltage is applied to it now in case what i mean by this is 
if for let's just say for for assumption in our circuit where uh, which we are to build and we have a variable a uh, resistor which it varies the voltage either it increases or decreases now if we have such thing it means that that variable resistor it will be controlling the voltage once the voltage it uh, increases the losses of that material of that electric will be high and when voltage decreases the losses will be low all depending on the temperature voltage frequency and every other thing that that are involved so in that case what i'm trying to explain here is assuming i am assuming that if it is applied in variable voltage variable voltage it simply means either increasing increasing it or decreasing it increasing means just to add while decreasing it means just to remove so in that case even if you are uh, you are to use it in uh, you am um, you uh, you have decided to use any of the capacitor always know that the increasing of the voltage it means that the losses will increase the decrease it means that the losses will also decrease in it in any of the material or capacitor These losses happen because as the material changes polarization. It happens because as the material changes polarization. You know what polarization I have talked, I have discussed on this polarization. When a current or and when a voltage has applied on a dielectric material, it has what we call a polarized it will polarize that polarization is the change that occur in that in that um, in that uh, material so in that case the tiny electrons the tiny electron shift the tiny electron shift can be regarded as an as a tiny alternating current flow let's say for instance the polarization of a capacitor once the voltage is applied or has applied on that material it means that there must be a polarization a polarization means just for a shortcut it means a shift of let me just say from negative to positive when something has been shipped it cannot be seen with our two eyes it can only be viewed or seen with a microscope so in that case the shifting is not visible it could be visible with a, a oscilloscope or a microscopic so in that case for me to explain this polarization is just a little shift of it of that um, um, electron in that material a little shift either shift from right to left or from left to right so the tiny electron shift can be regarded as tiny alternating current flow so in that case different materials have different losses different materials have different losses at different frequency you have you heard about that i told you in times of consideration you consider the temperature the frequency the capacitance the voltage and so on and so forth 
all these are the things that you need to put in consideration because most of them are written on their body and most of them are not written you need to check or you ask the the person that that that, that sold the capacitor he should give you the descriptions because each of them they have all this which means that each of them they have different losses based on their different materials so in that case the different losses is what based on what frequency characteristics must be accounted must be accounted for in some high frequency applications because there are some high frequency applications as well there are low frequency application everything everything that has la, has high it also has lower so in that case what i'm saying right now is this different materials have different losses at different frequency and these characteristics and those frequencies it also have what the high frequency and the low frequency applications thank you once again for watching my video please if you like my video subscribe comment like and share see you next week thank you once again